Well, a historic day here in downtown San Francisco as ground officially broken for the future home of the Pac-12 Network and Pac-12 Enterprises. A lot of dignitaries and celebrities are around the festivities here in San Francisco today, including SF Mayor Ed Lee. Also, people from the Pac-12 office and former great student athletes that played at Pac-12 universities. Good morning and uh, welcome to this groundbreaking event for our new home, Pac-12 Studios. My name is Gary Stevenson and I'm the president of Pac-12 Enterprises and on behalf of Commissioner Scott and my fellow employees both at the conference and at Enterprises, we are thrilled to get this construction project rolling. Pac-12 Enterprises is a subsidiary of Pac-12 Conference and Pac-12 Studios will serve as home to over 125 employees when we launch later this summer. You know, San Francisco has been very, very fortunate. We've had this past year the Cow Bears play at uh, AT&T Park. We've had the Crafts uh, Fight Hunger Bowl as well, and they've been extremely well attended. But you know what? As a technology city, we also want to make sure that that wonderful content of these uh, athletes gets distributed as wide as possible. And that's why when I heard the interests of the Pac-12 to locate their media center here, we jumped right on it. Because we realized that with all the innovative talent that we have here, it would be a very short time uh, that that media distribution could be blended with all of the thousands of possible applications to get that content out into every possible mode. It's an exciting time in college sports in general, and there's no more exciting place to be uh, than in the Pac-12. Uh, we've got a very dynamic and bold vision for the future of college sports and, and the future of our conference. Uh, it's also a very exciting time in the world of uh, television, the media industry, and technology in general. And our conference aims to be not just a leader in college sports, but also leading the way in terms of the future of content and distribution through many different technologies. and launching seven networks in August as opposed to one, launching a digital network, and all that will follow from that is, is just an indication uh, of a new model. Uh, it was pretty neat. It, it's pretty special. Uh, you know, a lot of great former Pac-10 players back then, but Pac-12 now. And um, just, uh, you know, I'm up here in the Bay Area representing uh, my little school down in, the, down in the desert. So it's tough up here with all the Stanford Cal people. but. Um, this uh, network is going to be amazing for, for our conference and you, know, you talk to a lot of the people that were here today that played just to be able to turn the TV on and, and uh, follow the Pac-12 and not only football and basketball but some of the other sports. I'm excited about the baseball and um, it's going to be great for a great recruiting tool I think for kids all over the country to know that they can come to a Pac-12 school and a lot of their games are going to be on TV. Friends can watch them play, family and um, it, was, it was nice to be invited. So it's a give and take thing, but I'm just happy that uh, you know that they're doing this, and it'll I know it'll be tremendous for the conference, not just Cal, but I mean you know the the, the two schools that they added in uh, Utah and um, Colorado. I mean you know they some good teams to bring and make the conference stronger. The future is now for the Pac-12 conference as the Pac-12 network is coming this August. So much excitement around the league and what is in store for the future of the Pac-12. In San Francisco, Roxy Bernstein for the Pac-12 Conference.